Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Animals without backbones, invertebrates. Our vast planet Earth is teeming with a large variety of animals. You know that an animal with an endoskeleton or backbone is called a vertebrate. Well, an animal without an endoskeleton or backbone is usually called an invertebrate. In this video, we will look at six main groups of invertebrates. Again, these are animals without an endoskeleton. Invertebrates can be found all over the world. Invertebrates are animals without an endoskeleton. They have no internal support system. Let's look at the groups of invertebrates. Arthropods, mollusks, cinderians, worms, porifers, Echinoderms, arthropods. Arthropods characteristically have hard exoskeletons. They have no internal bones or support system. The exoskeleton creates a barrier around the animal's body and protects it from injury. In addition, arthropods have segmented or asymmetrical bodies. The number of segments depends on the species. Arthropods make up the largest group of animals on Earth. Arthropods. This large group of animals includes insects like bees and butterflies, crustaceans like crabs and lobsters, arachnids like spiders and scorpions, and myropods, which are animals with many feet, like millipedes and centipedes. Mollusks Mollusks characteristically have soft bodies. Most of the animals in this group live inside shells. They primarily live in marine habitats, but can also be found in freshwater regions. This group includes animals such as octopus, snails, squids, and oysters. Animals in this group can be found on land and in water in very cold places and even in dry deserts. This group of animals tend to be more active at night. Those that have shells will hide inside when threatened. Others without shells protect themselves by changing their color to blend in with their environment, or they will release ink into the water to confuse predators. Cinderians. Cinderians are predominantly aquatic animals. They can be found in marine and freshwater habitats. Animals in this group usually have a simple body with a mouth opening and stinging tentacles. Some examples of animals in this group include jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. Cinderians are mostly carnivorous they all regenerate after an injury. If a body part becomes damaged, they will regrow that area as part of their healing process. Cinderians are usually bell-shaped and mobile like jellyfish, or tube-like and anchored to one spot like coral or sea anemones. This group contains at least 10,000 species of animals, which is quite vast. Worms. Worms are legless, soft, long-bodied creatures. 
Believe it or not, there are over 20,000 species of worms. Some well-known worms are flatworms, annelids, and roundworms. Worms usually live in water, wet soil, or inside other larger creatures. Some worms are so small you would need a microscope to observe them, while others can grow to be the size of an Olympic-sized pool. The kind of worm most people are familiar with are annelids or earthworms. They have a segmented body that look like rings. To move, the earthworm squeezes each ring one after the other and that propels them forward. Porphyrs. Porphyrs start life as larvae swimming in the water. Once it attaches to a hard surface like a rock, it will take root and grow bigger. Adult porphyrs are sedentary creatures, which means they grow in one place, similar to plants. They are simple animals with no heart, brain, muscles, or mouth. Their bodies have a lot of holes, which allows water to travel through them. Porphyrs are commonly called sponges. Like the sponges we use in our homes, porphyrs are filled with holes. As water moves through the holes, microscopic food particles are removed or filtered out, and this is how the organism eats. An interesting note about porphyrs is that they can change the shape of their bodies. Most of the cells in their bodies can move around, allowing it to change shape. Echinoderms. Echinoderms are marine creatures. They live all over the ocean but are usually found along the sea floor. Some filter water through their bodies to get microscopic food particles while others hunt and eat other creatures like mollusks. Animals in this group have a hard spiny skin covering. There are over 6,500 species of echinoderms. Some of the commonly known animals in this group include sea stars, also called starfish, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. Echinoderms appear in a wide variety of shapes and colors. Most have a tube-like foot that is used for moving around, feeding, and breathing. Let's review. There are six main groups of invertebrates. Arthropods, they have an exoskeleton, they have paired jointed legs, they have body sections, and this group includes insects, arachnids, myropods, and crustaceans. Mollusks, this is a diverse group. They have soft bodies, they have foot tentacles, and this includes gastropods, cephalopods, and bivalves. The Cinderia group is usually found underwater. The body is formed from a non-living jelly-like substance. They have one opening, and this includes anemones, corals, and jellyfish. The worm group includes flatworms, annelids, roundworms, and they are adapted to nearly every ecosystem on Earth. They have two body openings and a simple nervous system. Porifers have no muscles, nerves, or organs. They're underwater animals, and they act like water filters. They have no body openings, and this group includes sponges. Echinoderms are also underwater animals and they live in communities. They're symmetrical and they have an external skeleton, which is made out of lime. And this group includes starfish, sea urchin, and sea cucumbers. 
as always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Please like and share our videos. Thank you for subscribing to our channel.